Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. So for today's video I have a review number three out of three for the iHeart Revolution and Shrek collection. If you haven't watched my two previous videos I reviewed the Happily Ever After palette the brushes gingy highlighter and a lipstick and also wore the headband as well in my first review in my previous video i did swatches tutorials and my final thoughts on all four of the mini character palettes and for my final review i'm going to be using the other two palettes in this collection the huge shrek face palette and also the fiona palette and we're going to do one on each eye and then I do also have two lipsticks that I haven't put on my lips yet. So maybe we could swatch both. Maybe we'll just use one. I don't know. Let's see where this video takes us. So if you'd like to see my final review on the iHeart Revolution and Shrek collection, then please keep watching. Okay, firstly, we have the Shrek palette. I'm sorry. How amazing is this? It's just a palette with Shrek's face on. That is pretty amazing. This one, just like the Happy Ever After palette, does retail for £20, so it is one of the more expensive palettes in the collection. But this is what it looks like. You could literally have Ogre Face on. That is just so funny. It's probably going to be a bit of an annoyance for people because these bits stick out and it will be a bit of a nuisance to store, but it don't bother me because I just freaking love the packaging. And then this is what the ogre palette looks like i think they've done this really well so this has a mixture of greens and browns in it and then it also has a load of shimmers so there's not just like random other pops of color or anything in it it has stuck to like the brown and green theme of shrek which is brilliant because this does represent shrek really really well there's also oh my god i just realized my mirror's cracked um that's seven years of bad luck for me um but there is a huge mirror on the other side of the palette as well and i just think they've done this palette like color story really really well and then the last palette in the collection is fiona's one and this is the by night one way by day another this is 15 pounds which i was quite shocked at because i heart revolutions palettes like in this packaging are normally around 10 so i wasn't expecting such a high price mark for this i thought it was going to be i mean at least 12 with it being a collab but didn't expect 15 and this palette is actually really cool because the picture on it changes from human fiona to shrek fiona i thought that was really cool packaging okay so this is the color story for the fiona palette there is a mirror in here as well um i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't really know how i feel about this color story i feel like it doesn't really i don't know i feel like it just doesn't Scream Fiona. I feel like if they was to do like a Fiona palette, it would be very similar to this one. Um, so they did have to do something different. But this is basically like a neutrals palette with quite a few pinks in here. There's pops of blue shimmers and green shimmers in here. So I feel like instead of doing more pink today, we'll do more just like completely neutral. Whereas this one will have the greens in there as well. Um, but the shimmers look very promising. So I'm very excited to swatch this. And yeah, that is what the Fiona palette looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch both of these palettes and then we can get on into the eye looks. Okay, so I've just primed this eye with the Revolution Super Base and we're going to go in with the Ogre palette. I say, keep saying Ogre, the Shrek palette first. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like monochrome green lids and then like brown underline lash line. So it kind of like gives the Ogre sort of effect, you know. So I think firstly, I'm going to go in with Grub Paste, which is this sort of yellowy green here and i'm gonna pop this in my crease i 
I do feel like that is a proper like ogre shade. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Triplets, which is this slightly lighter green here, and I'm gonna blend that like just above where I put grub paste. And then to blend out those very top edges, I'm going to take the shade Ogre, which is very fitting. And this is a pale green and it's going to just finesse those top edges. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Forest, the deepest green in the palette. And I'm just going to deepen my outer corner. Okay, and then for the lid, I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Adventure. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger. Oh, that feels very soft, very putty. Oh yeah, it's very, very squishy. This is what it looks like. Wow, that is gorgeous. And we're gonna add this. Oh, oh my God, that is beautiful. I'm gonna add this to the front of my lid. Oh, this is like a good putty shade. They're so hit and miss with their party formula. Like sometimes they're amazing like this. And then sometimes there's like barely any pigment. But this is like ultimate squishiness. And it works amazingly. And then to blend out that shimmer, I'm gonna take the shade Quest, which is this dark green. And that's gonna, yeah, blend into that outer corner. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Travel, which is this brown shade here. And I'm just going to put that all the way across. Are you feeling this ogre fantasy with me? <laughs> Okay, and to finish off this Shrek look, I don't feel like there's a light enough shimmer in here. Um, I would have loved like a more paler sort of green shade, but I might take this neutral shimmer up here, which is literally called Onions. That is amazing. Yeah, it is a beautiful shade, but it's definitely not super, super bright like how I normally like my inner corner shades. But this is the completed look with the Shrek palette. The shimmers are just beautiful. The mattes work so perfectly. Like, I'm so impressed with the quality of the this whole collection. Like, I oh, hope Revolution have really upped their game with it. Um, and next, we're going to move on to our cute little fiona palette okay so i've just primed my eyes again with the super base and yeah as i said earlier this color story is like predominantly neutrals and pink so i might do like a similar vibe except put neutrals on the lid and then pink on the bottom maybe so let's try that the other comment of this palette is that it doesn't run deep like at all like the deepest matte in here like neutral is this one so that's a bit of a shame because I would have loved to see some more deeper shades in here. Firstly, I'm going to take the shade Transform, which is this kind of like middle ground pink slash brown. I'm just popping this in my crease. I think I'm just going to do a similar, um, similar kind of look to the, sh the Ogre one. Next, I'm going to take the shade Tower, which is like more of a lighter brownie peach shade and I'm gonna blend out that crease. I'm gonna take the shade Rescue which is the darkest matte and I'm gonna kind of like put that in my crease because I feel like it's not deep enough and also add it to like my outer corner. And I'm just going to take that same shade on a bit more of a like pointier brush. I'm just going to add that directly in my inner corner just to make sure that is covered. Yeah, so that definitely works. But I think I just need like maybe one more deep brown just to finish off the look. So next for the shimmer, I think I'm going to take the shade Kingdom, which is the gold in the palette. 
and I'm going to apply it with my finger again. I feel okay actually. Yeah, look, it's applying it good on my finger. Oh, yeah. Yes, again, good shimmer. Not as foily as this one, as you can see. Definitely doesn't have the same effect. It's a little bit flatter than this, but still a very good shimmer. In fact, I think there's a couple of formulas in this. Okay, and then to blend out that gold, I'm going to take the shade Night, which is this bronzy shimmer here. Perfect, so that lid is now done. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Dragon. Perfect, and then for the inner corner and brow bone, I couldn't not take the shade Princess. This is like a pink, but with gold reflex. So it looks the uh, majority gold, but when you sort of like adjust yourself, you can see the pinkness in it as well. That is beautiful. Okay, so this is my finished look with the Fiona palette. These are my completed looks. What do you think? What one is your favourite? I would love to know in the comments. I'm just going to pop on some mascara off of camera and then we can pop on one or both of the lipsticks. Okay, so I've just put my mascara on. I used the Revolution and a Game of Thrones Advent Calendar Mascara. And these are my eyes with the mascara on. Completely just finishes off the looks. And lastly, all we need to do now is pop on a lippy. So we have the Dragon Lipstick and the Donkey one. I think the Dragon one is... Not the Dragon one, sorry. I think the Donkey one is just going to go best because it's nice and neutral. Although I do feel like the red one could work because the red will go with the green the red will go with the pink and neutrals i'm gonna finish off the video with the nude but i am gonna pop on the red because i want to see what it looks like on okay so this is the red lipstick this is like super super creamy if you don't like matte lipsticks you're gonna love um these two because i know this will be the same as the dragon one um but you will love this lipstick formula also has a scent to it it is quite cinnamony still like the gingy one and i did find yesterday after i finished filming that i did have the scent in the back of my throat a little bit so if you're a bit sensitive to like scents in products like lipsticks or you know just in general um the scent might be a bit too overpowering for you uh, yeah i just i just felt it like sitting at the back of my throat at some points and like i'd cough and i could like taste it if that makes sense i know that probably sounds gross but if anyone else is sensitive to scents um like me like i can get headaches from perfumes and things like that just something to consider they are super affordable so you're not breaking the bank if you do end up hating the scent thing um and it's honestly not that bad but i did i did feel it a little bit in the back of my throat after i finished filming so yeah this is what the dragon shade looks like this vibe gives me like christmas this vibe gives me just like beautiful warm tones with a bold lip but i am going to take this off now because i want to finish off the video with the donkey lipstick wow that shade is like literally identical to the color of my lips i honestly didn't know where i'd put that lipstick on and where i didn't because where i took my makeup off my lips I had obviously my natural lip colour and I do have quite pigmented lips anyway but wow that was literally like identical to my natural lip colour um, but this is the Donkey lipstick it's just a very creamy beautiful slightly like soft pink sort of nude it is very beautiful if I ever am looking for a lipstick where it's like more of like a natural colour and not anything too much I would definitely reach for this again. I mean, I'd reach for these lipsticks again anyway. I really love that orangey red that I used in my first review. Um, but this is beautiful. Okay, so this is my completed face with both the Shrek and Fiona palettes and also trying on both of the other lipsticks as well. Just a bit of my roundup thoughts on uh, the palettes today. This Shrek palette is amazing. And if you can get past the like annoying packaging of it i highly recommend picking this up this is a true shrek palette they've not just gone and put random pops of color in there like this literally truly represents shrek 
with all the greens, all the neutrals, the stunning shimmers, no like random purple in there, like it just perfectly matches Shrek and I really love the colour story of this one. Um, uh, yeah, just the packaging is slightly annoying which I know will annoy a lot of people but honestly that's the only negative thing I can say about this palette. There's a couple of shades that are a bit powdery but I mean, you see this on my eyes, it's very pigmented. And then of course the Fiona palette, the last palette that I had to test from this collection. The packaging is super cool, like I must say, very, very cool. A couple of sort of neggy comments. Firstly, I think £15 is way too much for this palette considering you can get a big palette like this for 20 I feel like 15 is slightly upmarking the cost a little bit. Secondly, I'm not 100% sold on this colour story. Uh, it definitely doesn't excite me uh, as as much as the other ones. I feel like this is my least favourite palette from the entire collection. And I just feel like this one doesn't excite me or inspire me as much as the other palettes in this collection. The formula's great in it, the shimmers were great. Don't get me wrong, it performed really, really nicely and I love this neutral look of a pop of pink. But in terms of like the overall collection, I think that is definitely my least favourite palette in the collection. Okay, so that was my free reviews on the I Heart Revolution and Shrek collection. Definitely a few bits that I've not got that I do want to pick up, like the lip balm and the face mask especially. But this collection is just so nostalgic for me. I absolutely love it. I watched Shrek 4 last night. I've seen that so many times. But I think I Heart Revolution have smashed it. This collection is absolutely amazing. And let's hope for a part two because that would be incredible and I hope you're writing that down revolution <laughs> my Shrek reviews may be over now but don't worry because I've got more reviews coming I've got the school for good and evil collection review coming in a couple of days time so make sure you stick around and subscribe okay so I'm gonna wrap this video up here I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think of this I Heart revolution the Shrek collection I would love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video.